morning class. Okay, kindly arrange your chairs and pick some pieces of your garbage. Okay, thank you. So, please stand. Let us all pray. In the name of Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, before we start, let me first check the attendance. Okay, class, very good for having a perfect attendance. So, how are you, class? Very good, ma'am. Okay. So, do you want to play a game? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, let's play a game. So, this is what we called Pick Me Up and Ask Me. For this game, I need five volunteers. Okay, pwedeng mag-volunteer, pwede din kayong pumili sa mga kaklase nyo. Okay, okay thank you. So, I have here a cup with numbers. So, my number dito sa loob, yung five volunteers ay kukuha na number dito. Tapos, yung number ay maging basihan kung sino yung tatanungin. So, kung 5 yung nabunot at siya kapag bibilangin, so kung saan hihinto yung number, siya yung tatanungin. Or, the volunteer can ask questions or he or she can give chances sa mga kaklase nila. Okay, kuha. Okay, let's start. Volunteer number 1. Okay. Next, volunteer number two. Okay. For volunteer number three. Volunteer number four. Tsaka volunteer number 5. Okay, thank you. Palakpakan naman natin yung mga volunteers. At tsaka yung tinatanong. Okay, class. Can you still remember our topic last Friday? So, can anyone give a short summary about it? Okay. Very good. Okay, class. So, now let's move on. So, for today's discussion, our objectives are, so, the students, you as a student, are expected to explain the importance of storing, filing, and managing information and forms, compare manual filing system and computer-based filing system, and Perform the filing practices and procedures. Those are the expected, those are the things that you need to do. Okay? So, class, are you familiar with documents or files? Anyone? Okay, some are not familiar. So, can anyone give an example of it? Okay, very good. How about you? Very good. Okay, now we're going to have an activity. So I'm going to group you into three. So the first and second will be the group one. The third and the fourth will be the group two. And the fifth and the sixth will be the group three. So you're going to watch the video. And then afterwards, you're going to give three words and share it to the class so the three words that you that you've learned from the video okay nakuha filing should be simple but why is it that large and unruly documents don't get the same star filing treatment as smaller documents 
large documents are either ignored or they're stored in hard to access and expensive large cabinets or hanging file systems. Tab has it figured out. Here's how to take the complexity out of filing large documents and empower you and your team to get organized faster. Our large document storage system is Tab's latest innovation. It's a cost-effective way to efficiently manage large and unruly documents. Here's how it works. It starts with our open vertical shelving units. Each one is like having three five-drawer traditional flat filing systems in one. With both fixed and movable partitions, these units are deep and sturdy. Then we provide you with large cardboard folders that measure 45 by 38 inches and can store documents as large as E-size NC paper. They're made from durable, lightweight cardboard, easy to handle and fastened with Velcro. Nice touch! Organizing and accessing the files is also simple. The color-coded label works just like a regular file cabinet. The bottom line? This large document innovation from Tab costs substantially less than the cabinets alone in either flat or hanging file systems. Whether you're looking to increase filing capacity or need to improve how you organize your large documents, contact Tab today. Because filing should be simple. You're going to give three words. No, three words and share it to the class. Three words that will explain what you've learned in the video. So, nakuha, class. Okay, very good. Okay, class, thank you for sharing your ideas and cooperating in the activity. So, now let's answer the analysis part. So, did you experience arranging your books, files, or documents? How was it? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. How about the others? Mm -hmm. So, do you have any techniques in filing it or storing it? No, ma'am. So, wala. Okay. So, do you think filing your documents is important? Yes, ma'am. Of course, filing of documents is important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's proceed to the discussion. So, our topic for today is all about storing, filing, and managing forms and information. So, who can read the first slide? The purpose is to bring filing, managing information, inferences to store documents, learn the lessons, secure data, storing evidence, the forms to the parties. Okay, thank you very much. So, the focus of this, or the purpose of storing, filing, and managing information and forms is, of course, for our documents, para yung mga documents natin, yung mga files, is organized at saka madali siyang makita. So, mas madali siyang makita, mas madali mahanap, mas madali natin siyang magamit. So, nakuha. So, there are two filing system. So, the first one is the manual filing system. And the second one is the computer-based filing system. So, what is manual filing system? So, sino may idea kung ano ang manual filing system? Okay, manual. Oh, okay, so a manual filing system is a structured set of personal data that are accessible according to the certain criteria. So, manual filing system para siyang manual or um, mas madali siya or personal mo siyang fina-file. So, ikaw mismo yung nagpa-file. So, the next one is the computer-based filing system. So, what's the difference? So, the computer filing-based system is a system of organizing files that utilizes hard drive space or network space. So, the system may either be computer software, an internet-based program, or a simple file and folder system. So, a computer-based filing system from the word itself, computer, 
it means you are going to file your documents in a computer system right so if in a manual filing system so you are going to file it manually so kung saan mo siya ipa-file sa cabinet ba sa box niya ba pero sa computer based filing system you are going to file it in a computer okay nakuha okay so we have also the filing practices and procedures so processing records for filing so how are you going to records or process records for filing so first check to see that the material is complete of course if you're going to record some file of course you need to see the material if it is complete so kailangan tingnan mo if completo ba yung files mo next is analyze the item for inclusion in the appropriate primary classification so your files are classified right so if classified siya kailangan mo siyang tingnan if included ba siya doon sa classification na yun nakuha so for example this files is for for example if you are a teacher so this files is for ano section A then this files is for section B so of course if you're going to put some files so you need to check kung sa section A mo siya ilalagay o sa section B nakuha so next is analyze the item for inclusion in the appropriate record series so you're going to analyze again the item for inclusion so next is analyze the item for inclusion in the appropriate folder so analyze the item for inclusion in the appropriate folder so you're going to see again if appropriate ba siya doon sa folder na kung saan nilagyan mo ng marka kung anong folder yun so if you're going to put some file there so you're going to check if included ba siya or nararapat ba siya doon okay next is returning the records to the file so of course if may may humihiram kailangan siyang i-return doon sa kung saan mo file yung or in kung saan mo file or nire-restore yung mga ano yung mga files so first Check to see that the materials is complete. Again and again, you need to check if the materials are complete kapag ibinalit na sa'yo. Kung yung mga files na hiniram or mga books na hiniram, kapag binalik sa'yo, so you need to check if it is complete. So next is enter the date of return on the outcard. Of course, kung may humihiram, meron kang outcard in which doon mo binibig na uh, in which doon mo um, nilalagay kung sino yung humihiram kung kailan ini iniuuwi sa iyo. Next, we have the remove the outcard and replace it with the folder. Of course, kung nabalik na yung mga files, you need to remove the outcard para malaman mo na nakabalik na siya. Okay, do you have any questions before we proceed to the charge out rules outcards? Okay, what is outcards? So, outcards is yun yung papel na may name of borrower, date of return, di ba? For example, you're going to ano, borrow books in the library. So, di ba may outcards siya? May listahan ng pangalan mo kung sino yung humihiram at saka kailan hiniram. Tapos, kapag uh, binalik mo na yung books sa library, of course, lalagyan siya doon ng date kung kailan mo isinauli. So, yun yung outcard. So, doon mo ilalagay, for example, ikaw yung librarian, doon mo ilalagay yung name ng humihiram ng books. Nakuha na yung outcards. Okay? So, now let's proceed to the charge out rules outcards. So, users check out folders, never individual documents. So, ang ilalagay mo doon is users, hindi yung documents sa outcards. So, outcards are used to monitor the removal of folders from the file. 
So yung out cards will be ser will serve as the monitor no for those folders na nakuha or hiniram or nakuha. Okay? Nakuha niyo. So information on the out card should include so, these are the information that should be included in the out card. So, first we have the file folder title. So, the title of the folder or the file folder. Next is the borrower name. So, kung sino yung humiram. Next is the date charge out. So, kailan siya hiniram. And then, date returned. So, kailan siya sinauli sa iyo. Next, out cards personalized for an individual need only contain file folder title, date charge out, and date returned. So, out cards personalized. So, kapag yung out card is personalized siya, yung ibibigay mo lang is the folder type, o yung kailangan mo lang ilings is the folder title, the date charge out, and the date returned. Kasi personalized na siya. So, it means na Yung outcard na yan ay sa kanya lang. Diba? May outcard, outcard kasi na lahat ng tao pwede doon. Pwede ilista yung pangalan. So, kapag personalized siya, so, ang ilalagay mo na lang is yung file folder title, yung date charge out, and then yung date returned. Nakuha? So, next, for convenience, keep several outcards in the front of each file drawer or on top of each file cabinet. So, for greater convenience, outcards can be personalized for individual users. So, mas maganda yung personalized talaga. No? Kaso, if personalized, so, mas maraming outcard ka magamit. But, it is more convenience. Right? So, kasi ang ililista mo na lang doon is yung file folder title, yung charge out, and then yung return, date of return. Nakuha? Do you have any questions, clarifications? Violent reactions? None? Okay. So, thank you for listening. So, now let's proceed to the next. Okay, student, I will group you into two groups and make a vlog performing a short procedure and processing records for filing. Your video should be at least one minute. I will give you 10 minutes to do it. Are you in your group now? Okay, any questions or clarifications? If it's none, you may now begin with your task. Okay guys, very good. And Miss Corazon's group, your video is so great. Uh, you, the contents is good. And in Mr. Delvalle's group, yung video ninyo is masyadong magalaw yung photographer. Medyo nakakahilo lang. But the overall, the content are good. So, okay, this time, student, I will group you again into three groups and since there are only three available computers that are well functioned here, in Miss Corazon's group will be in the first computer in the right side and the second group which is in Del, Mr. Del, Del Valle's group will be in the second computer which in the middle and for for the last group of Mr. In Chavez your group will be in the left side computer okay this is the direction of your task create a Venn diagram that shows, shows the comparison of manual filing system and the computer based filing system so if you have any questions or clarification none you may begin now okay students your venn diagram is 
are all correct. Okay, students, for your assignment, I want you to research about the workplace interaction and protocols and that would be submitted on our in our next meeting that's all for today thank you students you are now dismissed you may now go